Good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are and whenever you are. Welcome to another freshly brewed edition of Playing Games and Sipping Tea. You are here with Morris, and today we are finally getting around to playing Resident Evil Revelation. Just in case that wasn't obvious from the title screen and the title of the video, and no, I don't want to sign it. Thank you. Yes, Resident Evil Revelations. This game has been requested quite a number of times, uh, not just recently, but you know, over a number of years, I suppose, ever since it came out. Actually, there's, there's been requests coming in for it. So I hope you know, if you're one of those people who wanted to see this, that that you're excited for this one, because I know why. I mean, I'm coming at it from a fresh perspective. I mean, if if you're one of these people who who maybe doesn't know anything about this game, has never seen anything to do with this game. We're really in the same boat, because when this game came out, I, I just completely passed me by. I, I think after Resident Evil 6, I, I wanted to kind of take a step back from Resident Evil and just say, you know what, it's not what it was, I'm kind of done with it for now, gonna wait a few years, see if they can bring it back, and then, you know, down the line, we'll see. And um, I recently played Revelations 2, I bought that and completed it and really enjoyed it. And a lot of people were saying, well, you should go back and play Revelations 1 because that's a great game as well. So, uh, so here it is. So yeah, this is going to be a, it's going to be a blind run, which I don't normally do a lot of because I like to talk about what I think a game is doing well or not doing well, you know, without sort of going to snap into quick judgments, let's put it that way. But, you know, I didn't want to spend so much time going through and... Uh, you know, doing it a number of times and then just kind of blasting through it on the videos. I thought it'd be it'd be nice to uh, to, to to do a blind run for once. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And uh, my original plan was to do it on the uh, infernal difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty setting on this game. So I've actually recorded a part one, but there is no way in hell that is ever gonna be in the public domain. That footage is never. No one's ever gonna see that. Okay, so let's just take a look at these difficulties and then we'll explain why casual. Provides a slight challenge, great. Normal provides a hearty challenge, and we all need one of those every now and again. Infernal, test the limits of your sanity. Now that sounds like a lot of fun, and when I was recording this originally, I said, you know what, that sounds so cool, let's do that, let's go for it. So if you press, press X on this, this comes up. Warning, setting difficulty to Infernal will make the game extremely difficult. We strongly recommend first time players choose either casual or normal. Now that didn't put me off, that didn't, you know, Sway me to going, eh, maybe I shouldn't do this. But I was worried that it, gave, it gives you... You should always be worried when you get a separate warning for a difficulty level. That's how you know it's it's tough. And you know what? Infernal difficulty is no joke. Uh, we'll talk about it when we get into the game, but I'm going to be playing it through on normal. So I hope everybody's okay with that. Infernal, it literally did test the limits of my sanity. I went insane yesterday. I'm fine now, but uh, yeah, I was worried for a second there. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Not waste any more time. I mean, I could. Uh, I, I have barely. No, I have no experience with this game, really, other than my very short play session yesterday. I mean, I could tell you the extent of my knowledge of it. I know that Jill Valentine is in it. I know that Chris Redfield is in it, and I know that you scan things with a um, well, a scanner. Probably. That that that's it. That's all I know about this game. It can. I completely miss everything about it. Six oh eight p.m. Mediterranean Sea. That is a fine gun. And here we are, Jill Valentine. Of course, Jill Valentine. Who else would wear, would, would dress so provocatively for a mission like this? I don't know why she feels she's got to be showing a bit of cleavage there, but, you know, she's her own woman. She can make her own decisions. I, I don't agree with it, but why, am I complaining? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I really don't. And she's in the rain as well. What is it? The water's going to get all down there. You don't want, you haven't thought this through, Jill. You haven't thought this through, have you? Queen Zenobia. This thing is lucky to be afloat. I'm rocking a fresh cup of uh, Yorkshire tea. Let's today. find a boarding point. Mmm. That is freshly brewed. That is, that's two sugars right there. I went off sugar for a little bit. I'm back on it. Getting all hyped up for this shit, you know? went for a run this morning. I've got, you know, it's, it's amazing how much energy you get. I'm revitalized right now. I'm into that whole running thing. I never was before, but now I am. Well, that is one way of getting aboard. You know what? You can't say they didn't come prepared. I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's been 
94 minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the radar. That's very specific. The from their last known coordinates puts them right here on this ship. All right, so do we have to break into the holes and get pictures of the new Metal Gear? I, I don't know. I'm getting confused here. All right, so I played, like I say, I played Revelations 2, and I've had a bit of about, about 20 to 30 minutes hands-on with this game before, so I fairly familiar with the with with the controls. There aren't actually many controls, to be honest. They're at least not at the moment. This is kind of a prologue section, so I guess that's to be expected. Uh, I like this. Uh, I like this costume for Jill. Actually, this is, I mean, it's, you know, wholly impractical. You'd never, ever wear this for this kind of situation. But I like the design of it. I might be able to shoot it off. That is one hell of a locked door, and yes, I can shoot it off. Ah, oh, alright, out of the rain. A stench. Hey, I haven't it's showered for a few days, a okay? That's but Oh, the room, the room stinks now. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so, yeah. Resident Evil Revelations. This, uh, like I say, this game it, it it passed me by completely. I just I wasn't really that interested in getting Revelations. I didn't I didn't think it was uh, I didn't think it was worth my time after Resident Evil Six. I mean, although I enjoyed Resi Six at the time, in hindsight, it's just not good at all, really, is it? And I think a lot of people, let's just say, they were disappointed after Resident Evil Six. And I'm not I'm sure I wasn't alone in saying, you know what? Let's let's just take a break from Resi for a bit, you know. But, uh, but the one thing... Let's take a look at this guy. Who's dead? I did this to them. Oh my god. But yeah, the uh, the one thing that I heard about this game was that a lot of reviewers and, uh, and other people were saying, finally, Resident Evil is trying to steer itself back to its roots, back to its survival horror roots. Ugh, it smells like rotting flesh. That's, uh, that's, well, that's probably because it is rotting flesh, Jill. That's a very astute observation there, but... Yeah, trying to get back to its uh, to its roots, albeit you know in in a kind of modern context. It, you know, it's it's never going to go back to the way it was. That's fine. Uh, Signs of life, but I feel like something's here. But it felt like it was trying to be a horror game again. That's that. At least that's the sense that I picked up. From what the oh, hey. whoa. Okay. What happened? Let's just let this calm down. Did you see that? This guy seems to have stolen Chris Redfield's clothes. Like he's unless that's just. Standard combat gear now in the Resi world. I don't know for men like that's. <laughs> I assume that's the case. Um, I'm actually just going to quickly go into the options here because I think there's, I think there's an auto aim setting on this, and uh, I really, really don't want that. Whoa, classic and shooter. I don't even know what that is. Because I seem to be. Uh, Seem to be snapping towards enemies. Oh, maybe there isn't. I don't know. Maybe you can't turn that on. I'll uh, I'll have a look at that. You know, afterwards, I'm gonna bore you with menus. That doesn't look like just water. Some icky white stuff. I don't want to be anywhere near that. Okay, maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe you swing that way. That's fine, by the way. If you do. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not feeling that right now. <laughs> Even though you can slightly see in the vents and see that there's nothing there. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Game's freaking out there. A cheeky autosave is fine with me. There's blood coming from the ducks. Whoa! Okay. How did he get in there in the first place? What was he doing in there? It's arm. I've never seen a mutation like this. To be fair, Jill, you've seen much worse mutations than this. This is tame. What is this? This is barely a mutation at all by your standards, Jill. Come on. No power, power, which means no elevator for us. What a surprise. Were you really expecting to to come into a, a Resident Evil game and have the power already on? What is this? You rookie. So yeah, I'm just going to, uh, before we get into it's the action... Working. It's not, not working, it's not even here, Jill. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just going to talk about Infernal difficulty, because on Infernal, there are enemies in this area. They just straight up come at you. I guess Inf Infernal difficulty really is for players who have completed the game, because enemies just come around this corner, 
and it's um, and and you can do barely. Well, uh, from what I can tell, Infernal Difficulty is kind of remixed enemy placement, and presumably late. Like I didn't get very far, so presumably later down the line, there's also remixed enemies themselves. They just place harder enemies where there weren't on before. And that's cool. I like it when difficulties do that. I like it when they really just change the game up completely. So you get that kind of fresh experience. And um, other, other than that, it's it, it's kind of... Um, you kind of I, I guess you do... I, I guess they take more damage. It's not that you do less damage, but enemies take more damage. There, there seems to be a bit of remixed item placement as well. Like I, you find uh, custom parts uh, right at the beginning of this corridor. Uh, which obviously there aren't any in this. So there's that as well. And I guess you you obviously take a lot more damage as well. There's some big ass rats. What is this? The true mutation. It's shorted out. Yeah, no no shit, Jill. No shit. Hmm. Oh, that's a fine fine tea. Look at this picture of a vending machine. Look at this. <laughs> the power still works here. Can we get something? No. Thanks for thanks for telling us anyway, Joel. But yeah, this this whole area is crawling with enemies. I ended up having to just run past everyone. I can't make out this picture. Anything else? Huh, the ship's register. It was named for some ancient queen. I've got to say, it's very very relaxing being able to just take a look at this area. Like I just I actually just blasted through it. I didn't even stop to think. Because there was no way you could fight all of the enemies. Beautiful. And one of the things about this game is you need to conserve your ammo. There's even a loading screen tip that says use your ammo wisely. Ugh, the face is smashed in completely. Ugh. Disgusting. But again, you've seen much worse, Jill. Seemed much, much worse. Surprised she even reacted at all. Hello. Parker, give me a hand here. Sure, no problem. Come on, Parker. Play the game. I got something. I think it's a gun. Now what? I'm not sure what Give that scanner is or what it does exactly. I mean, is it. How is it. How do you program it to scan for guns? Like, why would that show up? Maybe that's explained a little later down the line. <laughs> so, it's not Chris. Hope this isn't Chris's hand. Are we bringing it with us? With that with the arm attached to it? <laughs> Just hit people with it. Oh! Hello! Ah. So yes, this is the introduction to the first enemy, which I have seen before. Because like I say, the, the previous area is crawling with these things if you play an infernal difficulty, and they just come out of nowhere. They don't even you don't even get an introduction. And uh Yeah, this as far as I can tell, it's all about getting your headshots. It's all about getting your headshots, which are extremely difficult to get because of the way the enemies move. So you just kind of have to hit and hurt. Oh, there you go. See? A few good shots there. That was so easy. On Infernal, I unloaded like 30 plus bullets into it and it didn't this go down. Our missing crew. This is not good. Where are you? Maybe that was Chris. Maybe he mutated and we just didn't... We didn't even think about that. Resident Evil Revelations. That's a bit of a tame introduction, but there you go. Episode 1, Into the Depths. So yeah, that was uh, that, that, that bit on the boat. Just a little uh, prologue section, I guess. And then we get into the game proper. This font really reminds me of Final Fantasy. I... I feel like I've seen it in a lot of Final Fantasy games. 
Hey man, I'm going crazy. I've got Final Fantasy on the brain at the moment. Type 0, 15. I really want a 12 HD remake. I want that. I'm sorry. But I want it. This sunny and idyllic Mediterranean coast was the site of one of the world's greatest structures. It took a full 11 years to finish constructing the world's first Aquapolis, the floating Aquapolis? city of Aquapolis? What is it? <laughs> a sustainable metropolis. That's the greatest word. On a massive solar energy That's the best word and equipped ever. With the latest green technologies. Never before had solar energy been used to supply power to an entire city. Guys, have you heard of Rapture? But Come on. In 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several Whoa, hunters known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. Are hunters in this game? This wow, they look great. The worst tragedies awesome. the world has ever seen. One of the worst the tragedies we've ever seen. The world's leading counter bioterror organization operating Guys, under you the when of the US City was, was called in off to direct efforts the to contain the attack. The BSAA, a counter bioterror NGO, which oh, yes, operates that reputable organization. the interests of any one country, went in as observers to assist Redfield, the, the FBC. Right at its head. <laughs> Realizing the need for immediate and decisive action, Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. Following the incident, that the FBC like quite a announced it has successfully happened. disbanded the terrorist group called Veltro. It is now 2005, and a sense of calm and security is finally returning to the people. But, as you can see, the lost city of Terra Grigia remains inaccessible. A silent and potent I hope one day someone builds an Aquapolis. Poses for people around the world. Just so we can say that word over and over again. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Ah, there you two are. O'Brien, you don't normally join the faith. Well, my doctor told me I need exercise. Why is this guy just like a I assume you both be know Chris that the FBC has cordoned off <laughs> the entire area. However, in the past few weeks, a number of mysterious carcasses have washed up. I guess the FBC couldn't cover up a mess this big, huh? Anyone who knows what happened here is going to put two. I really like that outfit, as well. And that's why that's my I've bet. sent the BSAA it's much more to reserved, investigate. You know? They're that subtle dignity. Did what you, you pick need up in your outfit. new equipment from Quint? Yeah, uh, Genesis or something. Is that its name? You didn't bother to read the manual, did you? No, uh, I brought it with me. Just in case. I hope you read quickly, because you're gonna need it on your mission. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> oh, you. Use physical attacks on enemies when they falter. Ah, so this does have a melee system. I guess that's standard for Resident Evil now. Genesis Manual, version 1.0.9. Genesis, the nickname of a high-level bioscanner, currently being tested and developed by the Global Pharmaceutical Consortium. It bounces special synchrotron radiation off a target in order to analyze it. Viral analysis. It is possible to detect and analyze even the small amount, smallest amounts of virus. Vaccine manufacturing. Since version 1.0.4, it has been possible to produce simple vaccines from the viral analysis data. Detection using... Jesus Christ. It is possible to detect specific objects. The data for bullets, medicinal herbs, etc. are registered within the internal memory for testing. Okay, so you can scan for items, I guess? If a detectable object is nearby, the indicator in the lower right area of the monitor will light up. Okay, so you can find specific items with it. That's okay, then. I guess you can scan for guns. Alrighty, then. So I guess uh, we're into the game proper now. And I would immediately wonder if there's anything up here. FBC, looks like someone already raided the place. 
I can only imagine this is locked. Yeah. <laughs> Why would that be what open? The hell are you doing? Hey, shush. You, I'm in charge of this mission. I'm surprised there's no item there. Okay. Ah, look at this mess. Oh, they're rotted to hell. Indeed they are. The skin's so pale. I've never seen anything like it. Use the Genesis to get a reading on it. That is a big blob of goo. Equip Genesis. Alright, L2 and R1, scan that stuff. The Genesis requires a decent sample size to get an accurate reading. Scan the carcasses on the beach and send me your data. Get a hundred percent analysis, so I guess I just have to find more of have a look at this. these blobs of nothing. These blobs of goo, that's what I need. I'm getting something from inside it. Metal detected. Careful now. Don't worry. I've done this before. Whoa! Even if you've done this before, does this get any easier? Really? <laughs> like... Yeah, just stick your hand right in there, Jill. It's fine, you've done it before. I've got something. Ew. What is this? If it's an engineered mutation, this could prove a link. I'll run some tests on this. Continue with the investigation. Don't accidentally inject yourself with it. And then become a boss later on. That would be really bad for us. Okay, let's scan these birds, shall we? So yeah, this is, uh, this is as far as I've got. When I was playing yesterday, I kind of just skipped ahead a bit just to see... Uh, just to kind of check... If uh, Infernal Difficulty was really Not kind there. of... That's what well, was. just to check the differences it's between Normal and already. Infernal, basically. I just wanted to see if uh, if that prologue section was any different on Normal. And it, as you can see, there was only one enemy, as opposed to about ten plus enemies on Infernal. So, yeah. So, this is as far as I've got. So, this is all new from now on. There's a lot of handgun ammo around here. Who's leaving these bullets on the beach? Like, why? <laughs> what are... Is this a tourist attraction? What is this? Aha, Mogu! 8%. This is a weird mechanic. I don't know... Oh, we'll scan that. I don't know what this is even really for yet. But I'm kind of, uh... Kind of excited for this. Oh, God! That one moves! That one moves! Ah! Whoa! It moves quickly as well. Shoot it in the mouth, I guess? Oh, it doesn't like that. Oh, it doesn't like that. Come on, rear up. Rear up. Yeah, there you go. Wow, that is a... After Raccoon City, strange enemy. must be a cakewalk. I suppose. So why'd you quit the FBC for this outfit? Ooh, I wanted 18%. to be more involved. I wanted to fight. I see you two are okay. You look like you want to fight. Investigation, to but proceed with extreme caution. Yeah, no shit, buddy. Thank you. Couldn't have checked the beach out yourself, could you? <laughs> green herbs. Always gotta have green herbs. Can I scan this? Tiny one? I can. Oh, a little three percent. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank you, tiny blob of goo. All right, is this guy alive? No. Oh god, it blew up in my face. What the hell? That smell must have ruptured from gas. Christ, what a mess. So don't get too close. I actually recognize this area. This is uh, this is one of the maps that's on Revelations 2, uh, the raid mode from that. And it's it's literally just the beachfront. And I remember going on it because the, the, there's, there's a kind of... Um, I, I can't remember what it's called, but there are challenges on on raid mode, and um, they're kind of community challenges, so there's you, you stand here and you have whatever weapons, and there's like a giant enemy coming towards you from the sea, and you just have to wail on it with everything you have and then quit, and then you do, you know, you kind of, uh, but the, the, the damage is uh, totaled up from like every player doing that, which is kind of a very, very strange way of, uh... well, it's just a strange little unique event. I only did it the one time, and I did barely any damage. I thought, I'm not going to. Doing this. 
That's not really my kind of thing, but they're... Aha! So... I would have thought we'd scanned enough by now, but the scanner says 82%, so I guess we'll keep going. What do we have around this side? Ooh, Halo! Hello! Trying to hide under there, are you? Crafty. Okay, 12% left. I only assume there's a couple right at the end here. This is very weird. There's not oh, hey! That's a big one. That's a big... Oh, 10% left. There you go. I got a green bar or something. I don't know what that is. Getting your analyze rate up to 100% will earn you a health recovery item. The rate you receive will go down if you analyze enemies of the same kind. Okay. I've collected enough samples. Good. Get them to me yourself. This is quite a. Uh, why can I still hear that guy perfectly from over there? <laughs> that wasn't like the, that wasn't like it was coming through a radio. I could just hear his voice in my head. Uh, but yeah, this is a very strange way of starting a Resident Evil game. I almost missed that grenade. Sub-weapon controls. Use weapon with R2. Use weapon while aiming with L1 and R2. Okay. So I guess aim and then R1 to fire and then R2 to throw the grenades. That's fine. We're learning. Whoa! Shit. How the hell don't these things stay dead? I don't know. Where are you from, dude? I feel like I could throw the grenade in the mouth, but I don't want to waste it. Come on, you know me. I'm a, I'm a hoarder. I gotta keep my items. Only use them at the last possible moment. There you go. So there's no need for me to scan this, is there? Some peace and quiet. All in a day's work for you two, eh? All I was right, in this boat. Was it planning to sail away? Oh, I just wanted to get away. I wanted to get away for the weekend. It was probably scared. Alright. 100%, dude. A+. Plus. There you are. Nice work. No thank doubt you. About it. And thank you for all your help. signs of viral infection. <laughs> no doubt, these blobs of goo with teeth, definitely some well, kind of weird virus again. going on. Now, Thanks, we Jill. For the to come back from HQ. Where would we be without your sleuthing skills? Huh? It's the emergency line. Yeah, it's me. Uh-huh. What? Yes, that's fine. I'll take it from here. What's going on? We'll have to speed things up. Starting now. Uh huh? Good. Get to it. Don't keep us in suspenders. Jill, Parker. <laughs> you two are still on the case. What happened? We lost contact. Another murder with downtown. Jessica. When? How? We're not certain. I've sent their last known coordinates to your terminals. When? How did you do that without us noticing? Over the ocean. I thought they were in the mountains chasing Veltro. But judging from their position, I really want to call them Velcro. Be... I don't know why. Ship. I'll go back to HQ. Take charge of the search and rescue. You two will be my eyes out there. And my yes, ears. Sir. And my nose. And my pants. Now go. I see, so that's how we find out. Oh, accuracy, 100%. Death, zero. That's a pretty good start. That That's a good start. I'm pretty happy with that. And BP, 3,000. So, I assume, because again, Revelations 2 has this, that there are skills in this game. Saving after a scene or episode is optional, but saving often is recommended. Well, I'll definitely save then. Ah, oh, finally. I've, I've never seen this screen before. It's good to get past the first section of the game. 
<laughs> I've actually recorded the first episode twice because the first time, for some reason, the recorder friggin' crashed. And then, obviously, I had the, the debacle with Infernal Mode. It's nice to finally get here. And with style, I'm sure you'll agree. I didn't even look at that option on the right. What was that? You can dodge while reloading. I can dodge? <laughs> I didn't even know I could dodge, let alone while reloading. This is great news. You think these things got to Chris and Jessica? I hope not. Hey, no one's saying Chris is dead. All right. Are you saying Chris is dead? I'm then not let's saying Chris find him I already. Chris, is dead. Chris can't die, come on. His biceps won't let him die. They'll just react automatically and hit anything that comes <laughs> that, that, that endangers him. Is that the lock? I I'll think so. Okay. Let's see what I can find here. So I guess I can scan this kid. No, down. this one's I'll mine. You if I pick up Chris's trail. Scanned him. Haha, -ha, you didn't get there. This thing has a lot of similarities to the corpses on the beach. Come on, dude. I know you're not doing any work. It literally takes two seconds to scan a guy. What are you, what are you playing at? Alrighty, well, I'm gonna have to pause it for now, ladies and gents, but thank you so much for watching this opening episode of Resident Evil Revelations. I hope you're excited for this one. I really am. I'm finally, I'm so glad we're finally getting around to doing this, actually, and uh, it's, it seems like a good Resident Evil game at the moment. It's just got a nice little slow and steady pace to it, which is, you know, a change from, like I say, RE5 and RE6. It did take it in the wrong direction, but this uh, seems seems much better. And it's got this. This intrigues me. I don't know what to make of this yet. I'm going to reserve judgment for now. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. And I hope to see you all in the next part. See you later. Don't touch it. Ew. Wash your hands.